So this is Callie. She's six months old, turning seven months old. And this is one of her field trips before she's heading home. She's passing by a dog, no worries at all. Um, and we're basically trying to find any kinds of distractions to work around. This particular situation was very strange for her, very interesting as well. She was more curious than scared. And I still wanted to make sure that I mark it as a positive experience. And she recovered afterwards very, very quickly. Yay! All right, so on our right, there are kids or people playing basketball. She was very interested in it. But we just kept walking. We passed by a stroller. Amazing. Um, here we were looking for people so we could pass by close to them because she used to jump on people and get like very excited. Um, so yeah, no more jumping and she's able to keep her cool. Another great challenge for her is passing by between these um, two dog parks. There is one on the left and one on the right. She was um, kind of interested in the dogs, so she paused for a little bit to check them out. But um, I just used the tone on her e-collar and a little bit of leash pressure to move her along. I wanted to see if she's able to pay attention to me when we stop, and yep, she did. And I rewarded her. Okay, next step. We kept circling back to the dog parks because she was just interested in looking at the dogs. And I want to make sure that she has a very positive association with the um, the experience and also to you able to focus on her handler Passing by another dog and a toddler probably this is the first time she's ever seen a tiny person like that and she handled it like a champ again we got back to the other side of the dog park so we basically got to work from <laughs> every angle possible it's just a very good reminder that no matter how hard you try, you cannot control other people or what they do with their dogs. It was that when I saw this dog coming towards us, um, to pull Kelly uh, aside and keep her focus on us, it was not controlled at all and it was let to say hi, so what can I do? I let Kelly to say hi, then I recalled her and get her attention back to me. None of the dogs are aggressive or reactive, so it worked out very well. Overall, I do not encourage on-leash greetings and nose-to-nose -nose greetings. That can create a lot of tension in dogs and it can actually lead um, to a fight. We saw some kiddos playing soccer, so just because of the ball and how they were running, I thought it might be a good idea to um, make sure that Kelly has a positive association with that as well. On to something here. <laughs> I was looking for a more crowded area where there are a lot more people and so we can test how Callie is doing around them. Here you can see her hopping up. It's basically her way to checking in with me and kind of demand some treats because yeah it was a little stressful for her in the very beginning. Now it's more like a fun game like hey woman give me some treats. I'm doing great. Overall it was an amazing adventure. We saw so many things that might be the first um, time for Callie to see those. Um, and yeah, we worked through those little moments. Mm, her focus was on me pretty much the whole time. And hopefully we created a bunch of positive associations with weird things.